So there we are, Joan Armitre again. For my money, some of the nicest records of the past 12 months have come from a group of artists gathered together on one record label, which launched itself in this country last year with albums by The Eagles, Joe Joe Gunn, Jackson Brown and Judy Sill. The gentleman responsible for putting Asylum Records together is David Geffen. He's in London for a few days and he's here with us tonight in the Whistle Test studio. David, welcome to the programme. It's much. nice to have the opportunity of meeting you and talking with you because uh, I love Asylum Records very, very much. How did you pull the threads of the label together? Well, it all started about uh, two years ago when my partner and I uh, had a lot of trouble with uh, getting a record deal for Jackson Brown and Judy Sill, so we decided we'd do it ourselves and uh, make a go of it, and it's turned out very well. You record the artists yourself, do you? Yes. Yeah. We don't produce the records, no. Mm. We. Uh, we use independent producers for everything, or we let the artists produce themselves, whatever they want. It's a very artist-oriented company, and uh, whatever they want to do, we support them, and, mm. or, or we shouldn't be involved with them. The artists presumably are in full control of what happens. Right? I think that, that they are, mm. as much as they can be. Mm. Did you find many problems actually putting the label together, David? Actually not, because we put the label together with uh, Atlantic Records as our partner, and they, they helped us tremendously, and uh, EMI distributes us here in England, and they've been fantastic. Mm. What kind of background did you have to back up your, for experience with the new Well, <clears throat> before we started the record company, Elliot and I were managing uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, and mm. Joni Mitchell, and Lauren mm. Nero, a bunch of people. And prior to that, we were agents for many years with uh, William Morris and uh, the Ashley Famous Agency in New York. Mm. So we, we, we've been involved with musicians for eight or ten years before we started the record mm. company. Because one of the interesting things about Asylum, I think, David, is that it, it, perhaps more than almost any label I can think of, reflects the musical taste of the person who runs it. You, you do have very specific musical ideas, don't you? Uh, I think I like music, you know, whatever strikes me as being good is something that I want to record. I mean, mm. I, I don't think that every record that we make is a hit or that every artist that we record is going to be a star, but I think that all the music that we put out is very valid and that uh, all the people making these records are making good records. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's important. And they get a free opportunity to make these records. And if we believe in them, we'll stick with them, whether they make it or not. I mean, mm -hmm. We're not going to drop an artist if they don't sell. That isn't the kind of company it is. Right. Yeah. And it, it's been fun. And it was never a great deal of fun dealing with all the record companies that, that we were dealing with in the past because we had ideas about how we wanted uh, Neil Young and etc. you know, recorded or how we wanted them promoted or what we wanted them to do and they had specific ideas and it's their company so we decided that we'd start one of our own and see if we could make it work mm. the way we wanted it to and mm. uh, it has I think you know and it's, it's only a baby in the next year, the first year that we've been in business we put out eight albums, Joni, Joni Mitchell's album is the newest album and I think it's the best album that she's made it's uh, uh, just been released in England about uh, three weeks ago, and I think it should be a very big hit, but we have uh, albums coming out in uh, February by the original Birds, which we've put back together yes, again. Yes, yeah. Crosby, McGuinn, Clark, Clark, and Hillman, which is one of the best records I think I've heard in a long time. It's finished now. It's finished, and it should be released here in four weeks. How was it working with them again? Well, how, how did they feel working It was very difficult, again? because they hadn't worked together for a long time, and they hadn't been playing on the road. They'd all been in different groups, Crosby with Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, and uh, Chris Hillman with Manassas and with the Burrito Brothers. It was very difficult, actually, but once they got into the swing of things, they made a great record. And uh, I think it's the best record that they've made. It certainly will be the biggest hit that they've ever had. Mm. Actually, when they were recording, when they started, and they had uh, a record called Eight Miles High, it was banned in America, you know, much more provincial it's funny, time. I played radio. that on the Monday program last night. Really? Time. Yes. <laughs> well, that, record, that record at the time was considered a very controversial record. Mm. And uh, today it's, you know, Mm. It's a golden oldie. <laughs> I wish we had more time, David, but as you know, tonight is a very short program. Just one final question. Sure. Uh, future plans on Asylum. What's happening over the next couple Well, we of have new time? albums coming out by Judy Sill, by The Birds, as I said, by uh, Jackson Brown, by The Eagles. They'll be here next week in England mm. uh, recording a new album with Glenn Johns. We have, uh, we have a lot of records coming, a lot of good records. Mm. David, thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you. Back to the Jay Giles band. They're over in the